In this video, a technique for the creation of a continent cutaneous urinary reservoir based on the principle of serous line tunnels will be presented. A 60 cm segment of the terminal ilium is isolated. The ileal segment is subsequently subdivided into three parts. The 10 cm oral segment is used for creation of the anti-reflux mechanism and the 10 cm caudal segment is used for creation of the outlet valve. The middle 40 cm segment is used for construction of the body of the reservoir. Using back transillumination, four mesenteric windows are created between the arterial arcades supplying the distal half of the oral and caudal segments. The distal two-thirds of the oral segment is tapered around a 22 Cherrier catheter. The proximal one-third is left intact for urethral anastomosis later. The cut edges of the tapered segment are approximated by 4-0 vicral sutures. The same procedure is repeated for the caudal segment along its whole length. The middle segment, destined to form the body of the reservoir, is arranged in a W configuration. The two tapered segments are fixed between the two lateral limbs of the W by a series of seromuscular silk sutures passing through the previously created mesenteric windows.
The anti-mesenteric border of the W-shaped segment is incised using a diathermy knife along its whole length. In this manner, a serous line trough is created on either side. The two medial borders of the bowel are sutured together using continuous 3O vicral sutures. On either side, the tunnel flaps are closed in front of the embedded and tailored segments. In this fashion, the serous line troughs are transformed into two tunnels. The result is a wide pouch plate into which two serous lined valves are incorporated. The proximal one would serve as an anti-reflux mechanism and the distal one as a continent outlet. Two silicon stents are threaded through the inlet and secured to the outer aspect of the pouch. The pouch is then closed by approximation of the lateral edges of the pouch plate using 3O continuous vicral sutures. integrity of the anti-reflux system as well as the continence mechanism of the outlet valve are tested by filling the reservoir with 100 milliliters of air.
the umbilical funnel, is separated from the facial sheath. A wide buttonhole is created in the bottom of the umbilical funnel and the underlying rectus sheath. The free end of the outlet is then passed through the hole in the rectus fascia and the outlet stump is sutured to the umbilical funnel using interrupted full thickness 4-0 monocryl sutures including the rectus fascia. Few interrupted sutures are used to fix the outer aspect of the pouch to the back of the rectus muscle. Pouch rotation and or internal bowel herniation is thus avoided. Finally, a widely spatulated mucosa to mucosa anastomosis between the ureters and the inlet of the reservoir is performed. This procedure has many advantages. They include use of a low pressure ileal reservoir, reliable continence mechanism, efficient anti-reflux system, and a low complication rate.